हेलो गाइज भूपेंद्र सिंह इज हियर विद अ न्यू इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो आई होप यू लाइक इट एंड डेफिनेटली इट विल रिजॉल्व ऑल ऑफ योर प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू ब्लिंक 2.0 पॉइंट जीरो आई ओडी सर्वर नाउ यू आर वॉचिंग अवर यूट्यूब चैनल एस एम ई देहरादून टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट द कॉमन प्रॉब्लम वाइल ट्राइंग टू कनेक्ट यूर नोड एम सी और एनी अदर ई एस पी एट टू सिक्स सिक्स बोर्ड और ई एस पी थर्टी टू बोर्ड टू द न्यू ब्लिंक टू पॉइंट जीरो आई ओडी सर्वर फर्स्ट आई विल टेल यू द सम मेजर फैक्ट्स ऑफ ब्लिंक वन पॉइंट जीरो एंड ब्लिंक टू पॉइंट जीरो बट बिफोर आई प्रोसीड प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड वीडियो इट विल एनक्रेज मी अलॉट एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एज मच एज यू कैन टू यूर सोशल मीडिया सो दैट एवरीबडी कैन रिजॉल्व देयर प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू न्यू ब्लिंक आई ओ टी एप एंड सर्वर इवन आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू आर फेसिंग एनी टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सो प्लीज राइट यूर प्रॉब्लम इन द कमेंट बॉक्स बिलो आई विल डेफिनेटली रिजॉल्व दिस एज यू नो ब्लिंक टू पॉइंट जीरो इज टोटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द ब्लिंक वन पॉइंट जीरो वर्जन इन ब्लिंक 1.0 version we just need to write the token number ssid and password in the program and board will directly connect to the blink mobile app and there was no any web version in the blink 1.0 right but blink 2.0 is quite different we have both web as well as mobile version for it so start with it the first and the most common is got an error while compiling the programming code with arduino ide most common error of it are like blank agent dot h preference dot h header files are not found error etc it can be due to blank library error it can be due to header files are not attached with the program etc like we do in avr studio it may be due to wrong board selection or sometime uploading problem due to not selecting the proper port for your wifi board or not installing your programmer or we can say usb to ttl driver to your computer my those friends understand it better who already works with avr studio and guys please follow all the instructions step by step as shown in the video description otherwise you missed the important instruction and may be stuck somewhere in your project so go to the blank cloud website and create your template if you have already made a template then please delete that template and follow the instruction now create a virtual pin like this we do not need to create more virtual pins or widgets you can do it once your board will successfully connect to the blank cloud server So now go to the video description and click to the link to download the demo program for your board. This link will redirect you to my GitHub website. Here you go to the code button. Click on it and click on the download zip. Once downloaded, go to the download location. You will get the WinZip file with the name demo code blink to master. So right click on it and click on extract here to extract it. And guys, if you don't have WinRAR or WinZip software to unzip it, then a link is available in the video description to download these softwares. You will get the unzip folder with the same name. Go inside the folder and here you can see the demo program for both ESP32 board and Node MCU. If you are using ESP32 board, then go inside this ESP32 folder. As I am using Notify or can say Node MCU, so go inside this folder as you can see lot of the files here we required all of these header files in the arduino program so don't delete them lots of people miss this step they just copy the program file and compile it in the arduino id but sorry you got the compilation error because the program required all of these header files and also remember that the header files for node mcu and esp32 is different you can see here so don't be confused so what you need to do is open this file directly from here like this don't copy and paste it somewhere otherwise definitely you will get an error on compilation so this is the demo program and you can see all the required header files are already attached with this file guys 
don't change anything inside the header files without any prior knowledge of the header files only change inside the program file okay and if you want to make your own program then what you need to do is click on the file tab and click on save as select the location where you want to save the program after it write the name of your program and click on save button now you can change the programming code as per your requirement and all the header files are also attached with this program but before compiling the program we need to install the blink library in the arduino ide so go to the sketch tab and click on the include library and then manage library it is downloading the latest available and installed list of libraries for the arduino ide so search here for blink and you will get the latest blink library by volodomir shamans okay so you will get the install button here click on that and once installed click on the close button and now you can compile it you will not be getting any library or header files error in this program but select the board and port properly for this i think you will clearly understand it so first we replace the template id and device name in the program go to the blank website and copy these blank credentials from your project template and replace it in the program now select the proper wifi board in arduino ide go to the tools and then board scroll below and select the board as node mcu 1.0 esp 12e module for this esp 8266 wifi board must be installed in your arduino ide if you don't know how to install it then the link is available in the video description that will guide you how you can install node mcu esp8266 or esp32 board in arduino ide and guys if you are using esp32 board then select the esp32 groover module now click on the compile button to compile the program as you can see compiling has been done without any error so now let's come to the next problem many people don't find the wifi board while they are trying to connect their board to a blank server using the blank iotl okay so first i will upload the program to my board then i can find what would be the problem i suggest everybody that initially they connect their board to new blink cloud first after that they edit the template and create their project if you follow this then you no need to connect your board again to blink cloud server because you already done it and sometime while we connect all the hardware with our board and then our board don't get enough power to become the ap means access point and it don't appear in the wifi scanning in blink iot so this is a notify wifi board designed by nut engineer company you can contact us if you want to design this kind of board for your project or for your commercial purpose you can use node mcu if you don't have notify i am connecting it to the computer as i have already selected the board so now go to the tools and click on the port and select the port as com9 now click on the upload button to upload the program to your wifi board after uploading the program install the new blink iot app to your mobile the most important thing that is different from blink 1.0 older version that is in blink 2.0 you can only connect your esp8266 or esp32 board to wifi via the new blink iot app only login to blink iot app with the same login credentials by which you create the template in the blink website after login you will get the options add new device and developer mode so this time turn on your mobile data and wifi guys turn on wifi not hot spot okay few people are also confused on it now connect the node mcu or esp32 board to your computer and open the serial monitor as you can see the blank logo appears in the serial monitor If you don't see the blank logo then press and release the RST button in the node MCU or ESP32 board 
definitely it will display in the serial monitor now like this even after pressing the rst switch still you are not getting this in the serial monitor then this is also the problem so first i will explain how to connect your board to a blink server using blink iot app after that i will tell you the tricks to overcome this problem okay so if you find this in the serial monitor that means this time our board will become ap means access point you must confirm it that it will become the ap or not so go to the mobile setting and search here for new wifi we have got our wifi board that names start with the blink and followed with template id right if you didn't find your wifi board here then this is also the problem but i will explain it next after this okay if you found the device in the wifi search like this then back to the blink iot app and click on the add new device now we have got three options connect to wifi scan qr code and quick start device so click on the connect to wifi option here click on the ready button so guys once you click on the ready button our mobile starts searching for our wifi board name and yes guys we have got the pop up that starts with blink click on the join button it is scanning all the available wifi network in the range now it will ask you to connect your board to any listed wifi guys remember here you need any external wifi or hotspot to connect your board to that wifi your own hotspot will not work for it as it remembered my wifi name but if you want to change the wifi you can also change the wifi by clicking on the change okay so select your wifi network in which you want to connect your board write the password and click to continue this time it will create the token of blank for your template and store it in the ep rom of your board with the wifi name and password so guys it has been connected to wifi as well as to the blank cloud server and we go to the next screen you can also change the name of your template if you want after it click on the continue and then done now exit from the app and back to the main dashboard of the blank so guys this is how you can connect your board to the new blank cloud server and wifi using the blank iot mobile app and this is the only way to connect your wifi board to the blank cloud server and there is no any alternative for it and guys come to the next problem in which you don't find the blank logo in the serial monitor or if you don't find your board as ap means access point in the wifi list of your mobile wifi search then you need to follow this trick for both problem you need to clear the eep rom of your board so that all the data or you can say if there is any garbage stored in the eep rom of your board will be clear okay so click on the link to download the program to clear the eep rom this link will redirect you to the github website here you go to the code button click on it and then click on the download zip button to download it once downloading is done then go to the download location and unzip the folder with the name eep rom clear node mcu est32 arduino master okay so we go to the folder of the program go inside it and here we go to the program folder inside it this is the program open it once it has been opened then connect to your board to the computer select the board as i have already told you select the com port and upload the program as you can see uploading is done now open the serial monitor and you can see the progress of erasing the ep rom of your wifi board once done you will see the message ep rom cleared now you upload demo program of node mcu on it and once you got the logo printed in the serial monitor and wifi list of your mobile setting then follow the process to connect your board to wifi and blink server using blink iot mobile app 
that I have just shown you in the video. Okay. And guys, once your board has been connected to the blank, then go to the blank cloud website and edit your template. You can create your new data stream and you can also delete your old pins if you don't require it in your project. You don't need to attach your board again to the blank cloud because you already done it, right? And you already know how to add widgets to the mobile app and web dashboard. If you haven't been clear on this, please watch my uploaded video on Blink 2.0. Now you can make any project with Blink 2.0. I have uploaded lots of the project video on Blink 2.0 in my YouTube channel. You can also take the reference from there. So guys, these are the most common problems that people are facing while working with the Blink 2.0. If you are still facing any problem, then don't hesitate to write it to the comment box below. I will try to resolve it. And if you are looking for such kind of IoT server or IoT app, any kind of IoT hardware or any edge devices for your organization or your company, you can contact us. Contact links are available in the video description. So guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and videos.